So I launched Philadelphia 76ers now three years ago during the summer of 2021. And for the real ones who have been with me from the jump, you know I've never been a big Ben Simmons guy. So much ability, but he's always been content with being good but not great. The lack of developing a jump shot, not caring. And over the last couple of years, it's really reared its ugly head with his work ethic and him barely playing basketball. But stick with me here. Sixer social media is talking. I've been seeing what people have been saying on X, on Instagram, and some people are intrigued by the idea of bringing Simmons back if he's cut by the Brooklyn Nets or if he's bought out. I'm intrigued by the idea. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I'm going to explain why and we're going to talk about this. First, let's have some fun down in the comment section here. What is one word you would describe Ben Simmons with? For me, it's stiff or lazy? Let me know down in the comment section right now. Let's start off with this. Why are we talking about Ben Simmons here? 76ers Twitter is ablaze right now. Everybody's pumped up about the moves that Daryl Morey has made, bringing in Paul George. You have talking heads on TV shows and in the national media landscape saying, Philadelphia, look out. They could challenge the Boston Celtics. But what is the remaining need for Philadelphia? It's depth. And when you look at how Philadelphia stacks up, too, against Boston and New York, they are a little bit bereft of having elite wing defenders. What does Ben Simmons do? He can defend the wing spot very, very well. We've seen him defend Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and Luka Doncic at a very high rate. So 76ers Twitter has started kind of jokingly talking about bringing Ben Simmons back, and some people are actually vying for it. For the most part... Everybody is in agreement that anyone who wants Ben back in Philadelphia is sick in the head. But some people are arguing that he would be a good fit as a role player on a vet min at the wing where he can also kind of run that second unit and he'd be an intriguing fit because of the defense and because of the playmaking. There's that Matthew McConaughey clip going around too, like in order to move forward, or in order to, what is it like, whatever it is, like you got to move forward, and sometimes you have to take a couple steps back, whatever it is. I know I butchered that, but you get the idea. Like, could you bring Ben Simmons back, and it would be quite the reunion here. First off, it wouldn't be under the current contract that he's under right now. Ben Simmons, who's barely played basketball the last couple of years, making $40 million this year. So the Nets would have to buy out his contract, let him go. And as part of this conversation, culturally, the Sixers are trying to get to a spot where they're no longer mentally fickle. They're no longer mentally weak, like some crappy toilet paper. So would Daryl Morey even consider the risk of bringing Ben Simmons back? Just imagine how the fan base would react. Some people would be open to it. Others would be completely against it. Some people would say, Daryl Moore, you've made all these great moves. You've had to undo this year and in previous years with the Al Horford contract and the James Harden deal and that situation, the Ben Simmons contract, having to inherit him. You've undone what Brett Brown and Elton Brand did. So it would just be social media being on fire, right, if this actually happened. And mentally, how could we get over it, right? How could we get over how Ben Simmons' career ended? How he also went to practice under Glenn Rivers and didn't even care, didn't even put in any effort. How he's kind of from time to time dissed the city, the bad body language, the bad play, just giving up being so mentally soft, and then this play right here against the Atlanta Hawks coming down the stretch when he passes up the wide-open dunk. He gets past Gallinari. You got Trey Young right there, and he doesn't throw it down. Instead, he gives it up to Matisse Thibel, a bad free-throw shooter who tried to rise up for the hammer. He gets fouled. He only hits one of those free-throw sixers. Ended up losing that game. What a disappointment Ben Simmons was because of the potential that he had, right? A lot of people forget, because of how bad it's been the last couple of years, how good Ben Simmons was and the promise that he had. He was a three-time NBA All-Star consecutively from 2019 through 2021. He was an All-NBA 13 player in 2020. 
a two-time All-NBA Defensive First Team guy, NBA Rookie of the Year, NBA All-Rookie First Team, NBA Steals Leader. We thought that we had a superstar with the vision and the size and the passing and the touch with the passing and the defense, truly elite defensive play, but the lack of and not wanting to develop a jump shot really cost him because teams started to sag off and then he lost his confidence and then he couldn't hit free throws and it got ugly. His career with Philadelphia still averaged 16 points per eight rebounds, nearly eight assists, almost two steals. He blocked shots and he still hit about 56% of his shots. But imagine what he could have been if he did what he did in the Las Vegas Summer League when he was taking and making mid-range and long-range shots. What's wild is how far he has fallen to the point where he has barely played for the Brooklyn Nets. He cares more about what he looks like on the bench as far as fashion goes than his game. Now, his back injury continues to worsen. That's a part of it. He's never been able to get that right. But these numbers, atrocious with Brooklyn. And this is why Philadelphia won the James Harden trade. I don't care what you try to tell me. Ben Simmons has played in 57 games since that trade. He has averaged less than seven points per game. Less than seven rebounds. Six times. Those numbers aren't bad, but for Ben Simmons, they are, right? More than a steal. 57% from the floor. He still has that type of ability to impact the game in a variety of ways. I saw this clip of Draymond Green talking about Ben Simmons, and he's like, Ben Simmons is still the same player. What he lacks is confidence. And when you lose that confidence, sometimes everything goes by the wayside. You also have to consider... As part of this conversation, would Ben Simmons ever want to return to Philadelphia? One year ago, though, he was asked about his time in Philadelphia, and he reflected on that, and he said some interesting things. I had a lot of fun there. It was time for me to go, and I did leave. It was good timing. Obviously, the injury and everything that was going on didn't help, but I think it gave me a chance to really appreciate it. I'll always have love for Philly. People always ask me, like, if you were to get traded again, where would you want it to be? I always say, just Philly. Philly is a second home to me. And in time, you learn and grow as people. I don't really have anything bad to say about Philly. It was a crazy situation at the end, but it is what it is. Ben, you also made it a crazy situation at the end. And the trade was ugly. The departure was ugly because of your actions. And just like Ben Simmons never took accountability for his poorest play or the Sixers losing games... He didn't take accountability there for how things ended. To be fair, the insane storylines, if Ben Simmons came back to Philadelphia to help this team win, would be fun. If he came back to Philadelphia, it'd be fun for us to talk about that. So, Chip, look, I'm still against it. I'm intrigued by the idea just because of the defensive play. I wouldn't be relying on him being a star. He would have to be on that vet min. He'd give you elite defense. He can run that second unit. The vision is still special. You don't play him at the end of games because he can't shoot. But again, on a vet min, you could do worse. Uh, you could do worse. It's, it's so funny when, you know, we saw people, this really starting to pick up steam on social media because, look, just in my opinion, I, I wouldn't take Ben back for anything. For a minimum, playing for free, I, I do not care what he's playing for. I do not want him back on this team. Just mentally, combined with his inability to stay healthy, I, it just, I don't think it, it would turn out well yeah. if he returns to Philly because, say on some crazy scenario, he did resign. The, anytime he does anything wrong or anything poorly, it's just going to be just a mountain of people just hating on him. and it, it, The way his mental, his mental is constructed, like, it just wouldn't work out. I will say, I can at least... I, I, don't, I don't even want to say see where people are coming from. But I, I can get what they're saying when they say that Ben Simmons is the type of mold a player you would want on this team because you need a starting four yeah. who can be a good passer because, as people have pointed out, you know, the current players in the team, Eric Gordon, Kelly Oubre, even Paul George, not great passers. So you don't really have a connecting playmaking guy in that starting lineup outside of him beating Maxi. And then, you know, you could use the wing defense, wing depth, you know, you need a starting four. We've been talking about this. But if there was a player not named Ben Simmons who had those similar skills, who also wasn't so injury prone and just mentally, we don't know where he's at. Like, 
I, I think that skill set would theoretically work, but guys, it's Ben Simmons. Come on, <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe people are, are talking about this saying, let's go do it. I just, I can't imagine, again, he's making 40 mil, so would the Nets cut him? Maybe. We'll see what happens. I'll, I'll say this, if Ben Simmons ends up back on the Sixers, ah, I, I don't know what I would do, man. I don't, I don't know what I would do. Uh, by the way, the Matthew McConaughey quote, sometimes you got to go back to actually move forward. So I was on the right track. I still kind of butchered that. I didn't remember it, but we weren't going to restart the show because I couldn't remember. We're one take bandits here, and there's a exact quote right there. All right, would you want Ben Simmons back? Why for yes and for no? Yo, I got to tell you, too, this has been the best stretch that 76ers now has ever had. Thank you so much for the support. The views are popping. The support is fantastic. We've been going live, doing all these breakdowns, instant reactions, great analysis. So thank you so much for supporting the show. And don't forget to subscribe.